Well, here are my seeds that I planted on the 20th of March. The tallest ones are the tomatoes. And uh, you can see what's going on. You can see all the little hostas coming up. Uh, they can take up to 30 days to come up. Uh, three weeks is not unusual. And this year they started coming up about eight or nine, ten days. I'm going to lift this thing up. I'm just trying to impress upon people. Uh, I see so many people's videos and they have real long spindly plants. They have a tomato plant that's this high and it's still got seed leaves on it. They're the little seed leaves. The tiny little leaves that don't see the regular leaves have a uh, pattern to them. Seed leaves are just seed leaves. They're the first thing to fall off and that's what you handle them by when you transplant them. I'm waiting for the next set of leaves to get uh, come into play and then that's when I usually transplant them. And you can see these better board plants. See the next set of leaves coming out? And the other little thing you do if I can slip it out of there is check the bottom. And when you get roots coming out the bottom, that's the time to transplant it. And they're not coming out the bottom. And neither is that one. And by the time that small the second set of true leaves comes out, uh, it'll have roots coming out the bottom. And these are some additional sweet millions. These are better boys. These are Fourth of July's. They're sweet millions. Uh, somebody called me and said they wanted a dozen plants. So I started some seeds about, oh, week of nine, to, nine days after this. The colliers have come up. There's more colliers than anybody could ever use. Since the colliers seeds are so small and you always have some chafe in it, when I put them in the envelope, uh, I just use bank uh, cash envelopes and crease them and sprinkle them out. You don't know really what's going in because uh, there's so much chafe that's so small and it uh, you can't see the seeds so I just dump a bunch in each one to think I'll have enough and obviously that had more seeds and less chafe this had more chafe and less seeds uh, that's columbine I have planted uh, having trouble with my marigolds the yellow ones I've got a few I'd like to have more than that but I don't have any more seeds uh, the orange that's all that came up and I mean I put 40 seeds in there so there must be something wrong with the seeds because I, I did them a second time and this is the second time the first time was the same deal and then I did them this way again because they come up in four or five days and so I went back to my 2012 seeds and I planted them again and they'll be up this this is about two days ago and uh there's a bag that's, uh, it was unmarked, I believe it's to be yellow. I won't know to the sets flowers. Uh, but the orange is the one I want because they grow huge. They'll get two of those marigolds would fill this entire four foot long, 24 inch wide bed. They're a great plant. And this is my Patriot Hosta seeds. And uh, there's three come up. And I'll be surprised if it doesn't just revert back to solid green. Uh, when you water these plants, you need to put the water in the tray and let them drink it because uh, that makes the roots go down. If you spray on the surface all the time, and these are a little extra damp because I've been working at the river and I'll just come in here and hit some water on them so they won't dry out while I'm gone. And sometimes I come back late and tired and I come out here and it's dried out and I'll spray some on the soil. But if you water at the soil, that's where the roots stay. If you put water in the uh, tray, uh, the roots have to go down to get the water. That's how you get good roots. And I will lower that back down so they get plenty of light because I'm trying to duplicate the sun and I don't need a light all the way up there and expect these plants to grow healthy and strong. You know when you buy tomato plants and pepper plants they're short and stocky and a lot of leaves. It's because they've been under intense light. And they're done in warehouses and the lights come on and off on a timer.